Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Intermediate. Hello and welcome back to the intermediate portion of the class. Here we are in class number 97. And we have been talking about the structure have to plus infinitive. Have to. I have to do this radio show. I have to do it. I have to host the show. I said, I don't want to do it. And they said, Kyle, you have to do it. I said, I want to go home and go to bed. I want to have a siesta. And they said, Kyle, you have to host the show. You have to go to the studio today and host the show. And I said, but I'm tired. I have to sleep. And they said, no, you have to do the show. You have to do your job. So here I am, ready to do the show. I'm joking, by the way. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, right? I'm kidding. So have to plus infinitive. So if I say I'm going to buy some bread at home, you can say, Kyle, you have to buy some bread. So let's, let's imagine that I'm only doing things that I absolutely have to do because it's Saturday afternoon and I don't feel like doing anything. So if I'm doing it, it's because I have no choice. I have to do it. So they're, they're going to fix the machine. Well, they have to fix the machine. I'm going to adjust the size. Kyle, you have to adjust the size. She's going to order a new one. She has to order a new one. He's going to call the candidates. He has to call the candidates. I'm going to give another example. Kyle, you have to give another example. We're going to pay full price. We have to pay full price. Yes, we have to. We have to pay full price. Have to plus infinitive. Okay? No problem. It's not so difficult. It's important to remember here that we do not contract, have, you, you, we, we don't say you've to go. No, no, we say you have to go. We always use it in the full form. You have to go. You have to do it. You have to fix it. You have to call them. I have to call my mother this weekend because I haven't talked to her for almost two weeks. I have to call her soon or she's going to wonder if I'm okay. Okay? All right. Now, the next thing we looked at was don't have to. He doesn't have to. They didn't have to. Okay? So, we're altering the auxiliary verb. So, yesterday, I didn't cook for 10 people. Why? Well, I didn't do it because I didn't have to cook for 10 people. I didn't have to cook for 10 people. She didn't pay for a new one. Why not? Well, because she didn't have to pay for a new one. They didn't fix it. They didn't have to fix it. And in the present, they don't fix it. They never fix it. Why not? Well, because they don't have to fix it. I don't drive there myself. Why? Because, Kyle, you don't have to drive there yourself. I don't have to drive there myself. Yesterday, I didn't have to drive there myself. My brother, Tampoco, he doesn't have to drive there himself. He doesn't have to do it himself. By the way, what's the difference if I say, I drove there myself, and I drove there by myself? What's the difference? If I, if I said, I'm, I drove there myself, it means I was the driver. And I'm proud of the fact that I was the driver. I drove there myself. I did it myself. I baked that pie myself. I'm proud because I accomplished it and I did it. But now if I said I drove there by myself... That means that I'm alone in the vehicle. I drove there by myself. Nobody was with me. I was by myself. I was alone. I spend a lot of days sitting in the studio by myself, asking myself questions. I do. Yes. So, it doesn't need to be replaced. 
So it doesn't have to be replaced. And yesterday it didn't need to be replaced either. It didn't have to be replaced either. It didn't have to be replaced yesterday. We don't need their help. Do they have to help us? No, they don't have to help us. They didn't have to help us yesterday, and they don't have to help us now. We don't need them to help us. Hmm. She doesn't teach us. Why? Because she doesn't have to. She doesn't have to teach us. She doesn't have to teach us. And yesterday, she didn't have to teach us. Didn't have to. So all we're doing is we're altering the auxiliary verb, do. In the, in the negative, don't. In the past, doesn't. Or didn't. Well, uh, excuse me, in the past, didn't. Third person, doesn't. Okay? So, it's, it's in the negative, we have this auxiliary verb, just like in the question, the auxiliary verb, and the auxiliary verb indicates the tense. Okay? Very good. Good little review there of the last class. Now we can move on and talk about our word of the day. Word of the day. Yes, it is time for our word of the day, which is three words. A todo costa. In English, we say, at all costs. Kyle, I want to learn English at all costs. I'll do whatever it takes. I want to learn English at all costs. It doesn't matter what I have to do. I'll do anything. I will learn English at all costs. I will do it at all costs. At all costs. A todo costa. It can be money. It can be effort or combination of time and effort and, and, uh, and maybe money that you need to, 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 to acquire something or to learn something. I think you can, if, if you're willing to do it something at all costs, if you truly are, then you, you can do almost anything. I really do believe that. It's a question of effort. With learning English is certainly a question of effort. Making the effort necessary. If you say, I'll do it at all costs, if you really mean that and you work hard, you can do it, sure. Whether it's learning English or to play the guitar or, or karate or whatever. If you say, I'm willing to do it at all costs, and you really follow through on that and you work hard, as hard as you possibly can, you'll learn. You'll do it. It's true. Okay, now, here we are in class number 97. Do you or did you have to plus infinitive? So the same structure, but we're putting this in the interrogative. So here, I'm going to give you the answer, and I'd like you to ask me the question that I've answered using this structure. So I'll say, I went to the office early. Well, not, not uh, I guess it's, it's not really the answer, but I'm giving you a piece of information, and you're going to ask if I had to do that. So I went to the office early. Did you have to go to the office early? Yes, I did. I had to go. So, she asks for help every day. Does she have to ask for help every day? Does she have to? Yes. And in the past, you could say, did she have to ask for help yesterday? So, just like the negative, we are altering. Just like the negative, in, in the interrogative, we're altering the auxiliary verb. We looked for the cheapest solution. Did we have to look for the cheapest solution? Did we have to? Yes, we had to look for the cheapest solution. And every day, do we have to look for the cheapest solution? Maybe, maybe not. We fixed it ourselves. Did we have to fix it ourselves? Did we have to fix it ourselves? We used the older version. Did we have to use the older version? And in the present, do we have to use the older version? Do we have to? 
have to, have to, have to. Do we have to use the older version? Yes. I get up early on Mondays. Do you have to get up early on Mondays? ¿Te tienes que levantar temprano los lunes? Do you have to get up early on Mondays? Yes, I do. Well, I get up at 7. I get up at 7 every day, every weekday. Do I have to? Ask me if I have to get up at 7 o'clock. Kyle, do you have to get up at 7 o'clock on weekdays? Yes, I do. I have to get up at 7 o'clock on weekdays. I don't like it, but I have to do it. We say, you've got to do what you've got to do, right? The president typed it himself. Did he have to type it himself? Did he have to? Yes, he had to type it himself. They called a meeting. Did they have to call a meeting? Did they have to? Yes, they had to call a meeting. We brought more food. Did we have to bring more food? She uses the phone book every day. Does she have to use the phone book every day? Okay, so there we go. Some questions with have to. Okay. Will you have to use the phone book tomorrow? So, very important. We're, we're, we're altering the auxiliary verb there. Do, does, did, or even will, if it's the future. Will you have to? Will you have to listen to this show tomorrow? Is someone going to force you? Will you have to listen? Do you have to listen today? Did you have to listen yesterday? Did I have to speak on the radio yesterday? Yes, I did. Do I have to speak today? Yes, I do. Will I have to speak tomorrow? Yes, I will. I will have to speak tomorrow. Notice how in the short answer, I'm repeating only the auxiliary verb. Do you have to? Yes, I do. Did you yesterday? Yes, I did. Will you tomorrow? Yes, I will. Okay. Now let's move on to take a look at our vocabulary of the day. Vocabulary of the day. Yes, it is time for the vocabulary of the day, our five words of vocabulary. The first word, cariñoso, cariñoso, which is affectionate affectionate yes he's very affectionate she's very affectionate affectionate así como así como as well as i talked about this in the beginner classes i said can you swim as well as michael phelps no i can't swim as well as i believe i used the word fast can you swim as fast as michael phelps no i can't can you swim as well as him no i can't huevo duro hmm. huevo duro hard boiled egg a hard boiled egg that's right so it's been boiled enough that the the yolk the yema the yolk is hard so we have, the yo we have the yellow part, which is the yolk, and then we have the clara, which in English we call the egg white. The protein is in the egg white. The cholesterol is in the yolk. So if you're exercising a lot and you want to gain muscle mass, it's a good idea to eat, eat eggs, but like, like Rocky did in the Rocky movies, you know, it's a good idea to eat eggs, but... Um, I would recommend focusing on eating the whites and more of the whites and less of the, the, the yolk because that way you get the protein without uh, having to take in all that cholesterol. Jaula. Jaula. Cage. Cage, we say. Jaula is cage. Calefacción central. Central heating. Central heating. Yes. Calefacción central. Central heating. My house doesn't have central heating. No. All right. Let's move on now to the last part of the class, which is our translation list. Translation list number 27. Translation. Yes, it is time now for translation list number 27. Are you ready? 
Are you ready for this? Okay. Number one, en voz alta, always out loud. No hay una forma más rápida de aprender inglés? Good question. Isn't there a faster way to learn English? No. Not not that I'm aware of. Not a not a faster way to learn English properly, no. Number two, incluso había gente de Australia. There were even some people from Australia. From Australia. There were even some people from Australia. Number three. ¿Qué hacían aquí esos japoneses? What were those Japanese people doing here? What were those Japanese people doing here? Number four. Querían aprender nuestros métodos de trabajo. They wanted to learn our work methods. They wanted to learn our work methods. Number five. Les dejamos salir antes que a los demás. We let them leave before the rest. We let them leave before the rest. Les dejamos salir antes que a los demás. We let them leave before the rest. Los demás. The rest. Number six. La gente no quería marcharse. The people didn't want to leave. No, they didn't. The people didn't want to leave. Number seven. Todo el mundo se lo pasó bien. Everybody had a good time. Everybody had a good time. Number eight. Alguien robó el dinero que tenía en el bolsillo de mi abrigo. Someone stole the money. Stole. Someone stole the money I had in my coat pocket. Yes. Someone stole the money I had in my coat pocket. Number nine. Dejaron las llaves, pero se llevaron el dinero. They left the keys, but they took the money. They left the keys, but they took the money. Number 10. ¿Me puedes prestar dinero para un taxi? Can you lend me some money for a taxi? Number 11. Hoy no es mi día. Today is not my day. No es mi día. It's not my day. Today is not my day. Number 12. Lo leerán antes de tomar una decisión. They'll read it before making a decision. They'll read it before making a decision. Very good. Okay, let's stop there. We are completely out of time. We have finished list number 27. We will review this list tomorrow and so much more. So please join me. See you soon. Bye-bye.